In this lecture we're going to look at creating static elevations and sections. What does this mean, static method? Well, unlike a dynamic method where we would automatically have the building update as we made a change to it, some people like to draw static elevations and sections from their 3D model. So I'm going to show you how to do that first and then in the following lecture we're going to look at dynamic sections and elevations. The first thing we need to do is to create a new design layer. Now before we get started, if you haven't already created the hatching on your gable end, make sure you do that. So go back to your roof layer, make sure that you have created hatching on your gable end. If you've forgotten how to do that, I'll just show you. We're going to extract, click on that, enter, and then assign the hatch. We want to use a weatherboard hatch for that. We'll just turn the view around. And I just want to make sure I'm not seeing any of the other layers. Active only. Let's do that again. Extract. Going to extract that face. Enter. Then we're going to assign our hatch to that. And weatherboard. We need to create a design layer to capture our static sections and elevations. You can go up here to the Active Layer button, click on New Design Layer, but you can also use your navigation palette for this. Right click new. So we're going to create this, call it sections slash elevations. And we also want to edit this after creation, so don't forget to tick that box there. Click OK. We want the elevation to be zero, and we want the layer wall height to also be zero. And I just use the tab key to move from one field to another. Click OK. Now we need to go back to our walls and roof. So let's go back to our roof. We're going to go to a front view. We're going to right click, layer options, show snap, modify others. So we can see the other layers. Now we will not want to see our sections and elevations, so you can use your navigation palette to turn that layer invisible. Back to our selection tool, drag your cursor over everything in order to select it and then modify on the menu bar, convert, convert copy to lines. Now make sure you choose the copy, otherwise you will lose your 3D model. Okay, we're using hidden line rendering. That's a group, it's on the roof layer. Let's move that to the sections elevations layer. Now we can change to the left view. Right click, select all, modify, Convert, convert copy to lines, hidden line rendering, click OK. Move that to your sections elevations layer as well. Let's go to the back elevation. Right click, select all, modify, convert, convert copy to lines. OK, and we'll move that to our sections elevations layer. And the last one is our right view. Right, select all, modify, convert, convert copy two lines. And also move that to the same layer, sections elevations. Let's go back to a top plan view. What we'd like to do is to turn on our section elevations but turn off the others. So make sections and elevations the active layer. Let's just zoom out a little bit. That'll make it easier. First of all, with our selection tool, click away from everything so that nothing is selected. Go to the first elevation, hold down the shift key, and drag that across to the left. Go back to that elevation, click and drag, and drag that one to the right. Back to this one, drag that to the left, and the final one, drag that to the right. So we've got our four elevations and we've got them separated. Now they do need a little bit of tidying up. Sometimes people like to add a little bit of line weight to them. They like to add a bit of color. You might find sometimes that the class you've used allows you to see through the windows so you can see the walls beyond. It might be that you want to add a title or you want to add a footing or something like that. If we right click, we can edit and we can step inside that group and we can make changes to it. So you might find there are double lines. 
you might find that you want to add a rectangle to this. So I need this to be minus 225, enter once, enter again. And what I'm going to do, is, if that's my concrete foundation, that wants to be a bit less. So minus 100 millimeters. So it's taking 50 off each side. Then I might put a heavy line underneath all of that. So touch that point over here. Let's get our line tool, click at that point, go across there, and we want that to be a heavy ground line, so we might heavy that up. You might want to change the line weight of some of these objects so that they stand out, and you might want to use some of your tools that you've got access to, like we did look at this tool here, the polygon tool, and it might be that you want to put an outline around the entire house, so we could drag all the way around there, puts an outline right around it, give it no fill, and give it a slightly heavier line. So that helps the building to stand out a little bit. You might also want to put a drawing label in. I tend to use the edge of my building, double click, small house, so we're going to change that and we're going to call that uh, I think this is our right view, so instead of right, this is my east elevation. And there's my scale 1 to 50. Back to our selection tool. When we've finished all of our editing, exit the group, and then do the same for the other elevations. Let's go back to our roof or our floor layer let's right click and we're going to make show snap modify other so we can see our roof and we can see our walls we need to see everything so we're going to click on this button up here fit to objects so now we can see the entire building don't forget if you hold down the b key you can see through your roof and you'll know where you're cutting your section model on the menu bar cut 3d section we need to know where we're cutting through so hold your finger on the b key so you can see through it It'll help. And we're going to go click, come through our building, click, and we're going to look in that direction, click again, and it creates a brand new design layer. You can see it here, it's a brand new design layer. So turn off the other design layer so we can see just this one. We're going to go to a right view, so we're looking in from the right. This is orthogonal, and view on the menu bar, rendering, and I'm going to choose hidden line. So that's my model. We can use fit to objects. Now these lines here, this graphic, this is our planar objects that we use to create our roof hatching. We'll have to delete that and we can make a ceiling from that. Modify, convert, this time convert to lines. Not a copy, we don't need a copy of the section. We can convert this to lines, it's now a group of lines. If we go to our selection tool and double click on one of those lines, we can tidy it up and get rid of the things that we don't want. There might be lots of those lines, so why not hold your finger on the Alt or the Option key? That'll select all of them, and then we can delete them. They're all gone, and you can see I've got double lines. There's actually double lines here as well. If we just use our Zoom tool and zoom in, you'll see there are double lines here. These lines here are a leftover from our roof hatching. So let's do the same thing with that. So Alt key drag a marquee, delete. Alt key or the option key, drag a marquee, and delete those as well. And fit to objects. So now what we can do is we can tidy this up. I'm just going to change back to a top plan view. We've also got our graphics here on the face of our building. So I'm just going to use my Alt key, my selection tool, and I'm going to select all of those lines there, delete them, and they're on the other side of the building as well. So I'm just using my arrow keys to move over. There they are there. So Alt or Option, select all of those, and we've gotten rid of those as well. So now I'm going to draw a rectangle to represent my foundation. Tab, Tab, minus 225, Enter, and then I can click here. I'm going to do exactly the same trick I did before. I'm going to take off 100 from there, and it goes both sides. 
Now you might have noticed that it wasn't exactly correct. Let's just go to edit and undo. And it's because this side here, I didn't actually have that lined up with that edge. That's just better. Now minus 100. And there we are. If you've got some symbols, like I have here, you could drag that symbol. So you could drag this and drop it onto the foundation. Just drag that to that corner there. Hit the Z key to zoom in to make sure you get it accurate. And then I could mirror that to the other side using my mirror tool. And I could then start to add finesse. I could add some timber symbols to this. I could add framing, floor, ground, all that sort of stuff. Exit the group and then move this object, this group, from the current design layer to your section's elevations. Let's go back to our sections and elevations and have a look and you'll see that your section has arrived but it's actually behind something else so just drag that across. Don't forget hold your shift key down so you don't accidentally get out of alignment. Once you've got all those sections and elevations tidied up to the level you want, you could then use viewports to create elevations and section drawings. And if your model ever updates, you can go through the same steps again to extract the elevation from it.